So what's the truth behind estradiol, estrogen, or estradiol, estrogen? What is the truth behind this hormone and men? Because you know what, in the years I've been on TRT, I've seen a big shift in the attitudes towards this particular hormone. I think what many times that we forget, and I said this before, that when you, the testosterone molecule itself, or when you, you're given or prescribed testosterone, you're getting three drugs for the price of one. Testosterone, estradiol, and dihydrotestosterone. And they're all very important. They work in a certain balance. This is why some men who will try, shouldn't be trying because they're illegal, they're not really medications, the SARMs, and this is why SARMs, selective androgen receptor modulators, never took off because you're not getting the full cocktail of hormones that your body is meant to have. Testosterone, estradiol, dial and dihydrotestosterone. But some men, some men based on the aromatase enzyme may produce more estradiol than others. And many times it's about the ratio of testosterone to estradiol. I mean, we have said before on the channel that you know, in some men that's overweight or obese who are producing testosterone are also producing more estradiol. And that higher estradiol is now switching off the signal in the brain, the LH and potentially FSH and causing you to have lower testosterone. That's true. But what about the man on testosterone treatment? treatment and what about their estradiol level and why well why when i was younger i used to think well maybe i had no estradiol at all and this is insane then somehow i would be fitter i would be leaner well actually there was a study in 2013 by finkelstein in the new england journal of medicine and they actually gave men gonadotropin releasing hormone to shut off the natural production of testosterone because in some of these studies when they look at testosterone they want a clean slate they don't want any interference from your own bioidentical testosterone and they gave these men dihydrotestosterone dihydro testosterone doesn't convert to estradiol. It doesn't give you the three drugs for one. It's that metabolite from testosterone. If you give a man dihydrotestosterone, it won't convert to estradiol. So they gave these men dihydrotestosterone because at the time, 2013, we, we would have thought, okay, well, you're going to get leaner. Actually, these men got fatter and they got more visceral fat. And visceral fat is that danger that packs around your organs and leads to further inflammation. So in this case, no estradiol is not good. And obviously we know that if you you don't have estradiol as a man or a woman, you're going to be at more risk of osteopenia and osteoporosis. Basically, you're making yourself get brittle, brittle bones. So you don't want this. You, you want the, the balanced package. You want the balanced testosterone. Now, what do you do about a, a man that has more adipose tissue? Because adipose tissue, your body fat, has these lovely aromatase enzymes and the testosterone then gets worked on to then convert them into the estradiol. And then you have another enzyme, uh, I think that's in your skin, in your, in your prostate, in your testes and your penis is the um, 5 alpha reductase in your hair, 5 alpha reductase enzyme that converts your testosterone into dihydrotestosterone. And we're all kind of genetically set uh, or based on the tissues that we have are set to produce certain amounts of these. And so it's this hormonal cocktail or milieu of these different hormones that, that are at play. So one of the best things you can do is by having an optimal amount of testosterone, you'll then get the benefit of an optimal amount of estradiol. If you have more adipose tissue than the next person, you're probably going to get more estradiol, but that's probably the artifact rather than a causative effect especially on TRT. So it's important to be aware of that and look at ways that you might be able to mitigate it. I mean, some talk about extra cruciferous vegetables and taking it to another level. If you're doing cruciferous vegetables, like, you know, the, the broccoli, there are some who will use DIM or they'll use calcium deglucurate to kind of to kind of bind any excess other further metabolites of estradiol, or even just making sure you're not deficient in zinc, or some will use zinc or zinc citrate to kind of help with that. But really in the age of your know, GLP-1s, if you can lose body fat and also control for your dose, you should be able to get your estradiol in balance and feel good. Because let's face it, if you have low levels of estradiol, you're not going to have a great libido. And if you are inflamed due to an additional too much visceral fat, then you're not going to feel good either. And a lot of times men will drink alcohol and that's also causes a higher response of, of estradiol, which isn't really ideal for, you know, when you're on TRT. Not saying you have to be a teetotaler, but you know, some men are more sensitive to this than others. And especially especially when you do add testosterone to the mix, it may cause you to have certain side effects that, that may push you more towards the more negative types of estrogen. So look, estrogen is not our enemy. Um, it's just what it is. It, it's, it's part of your body. You need it. It drives a lot of the healthy benefits. And if you want to manage better, I think estrogen that might be through the roof is going to be more of a symptom of either genetics, but more importantly, of your 
body fat. And getting that body fat down is one way to help kind of mitigate any perceived negative issues that, that is coming from that because it's really more of a sign that something isn't, isn't quite right there. Because it also matters when you measure the testosterone. If you measure your testosterone in the trough, your testosterone will be lower, your estradiol will be lower, the hydrotestosterone should be lower as, as well compared to if you measure it during the peak. Uh, during the peak, don't be surprised if you see slightly super physiological levels. And that means shortly after your application of testosterone or your injection of testosterone. And along with that rise of testosterone, you'll see a, a rise in estradiol. And then you're gonna have kind of an artificial sense of, or artificially higher level than you, than you would naturally have. So everything needs to be in balance. There may be some ways to mitigate it. I think the best ways are controlling the dosing and making sure your dosing is uh, smaller, more frequent will usually give you more of a physiological amount of testosterone. But even men who aren't on testosterone treatment who are shifting more towards uh, having higher levels of estradiol it's usually because you have a higher amount of body fat and you've got a certain level of inflammation uh, which then is driving some other metabolic conditions and so getting those under control um, either with GLP-1s, metformin, maybe dapagliflozin or one of the you know to control the blood sugar to get rid of the body fat is one option another option is or alongside it could also be uh, working to lower your body fat and obviously testosterone can help you do that with a diet exercise proper sleep but it takes time so i just wanted to mention that kind of my thoughts on the whole area that you know easter dial doesn't have to be the enemy uh, it's usually a sign that um, you have a higher percentage of body fat uh, maybe some sort of metabolic issue and it can also be a sign that you maybe you, you took too much testosterone and when you measured it it wasn't adding up to what you thought it was and also i want to leave one more point that the most of the tests unless you go for an LC mass spec test, which we can order for you at Balance My Hormones. So just make sure you inquire below either in the comments or contact us at balancemyhormones.co.uk. We can get those liquid chromatography mass spectrometry, uh, sorry, liquid LC mass spec mass spec. We'll just say that. We can get those tests ordered for you. They do take a few weeks to come back. We recommend you get the radio amino assay test and the LC mass spec test at the same time along with your testosterone so that we can have a good picture of what, what's going on and you can compare the difference. It's not always a one, for, like for instance, what I found when I've measured my testosterone against my, sorry, my estradiol radio amino assay test, which is more of the standard test in the UK, along with a specialized LC mass spec test, the LC mass spec test shows my estradiol is significantly lower. I would say between 30 and 75 points lower for the LC mass spec test than it was for the radio amino assay test. So if you're kind of on the borderline of thinking you might have high estradiol, I really strongly recommend you contact us at Balance My Hormones and you order the LC mass spec test to make a more informed uh, decision. And then you'll get a better picture potentially. But again, don't be driven just by, by the numbers because again, it can also uh, matter on the timing of when you dosed it and, and you know when you measured it. So keep that in mind, it's always changing and it's not the end all and be all. What's important is how you feel uh, as far as the symptoms and many times when you're first starting treatment there's all sorts of fluctuations in the hormones and this can throw you off and it's very very easy to start blaming estradiol for these issues when it's the hormones that you're taking may be also affecting your neurotransmitters which also can play a role of course if there is a deficiency in zinc and some other micronutrients getting those under control can also help and again losing body fat is going to be key and managing blood sugar and insulin sensitivity can also be helpful in managing that and then again finally um, work with your doctor to help uh, get your dose adjusted properly and then it just takes time to get used to the way these hormones are are working so again if you have any questions or comments let us know below if you'd like to get more information about uh, the lc mass spec test contact us at balance my hormones and uh, again to your health to your wellness and we look forward to speaking with you again if you found this video helpful hit the like button and subscribe for more content on hormones and men and women's health and until next time take control of your body and your health